Social services have spoken to the adoptive parents and they've said that we can see the twins. I remember just before the adoption went through, the social worker, she said to me, what you're doing is a generous act. And I was like, yeah, I'm uh, ditching my kids because I'm some sort of saint. And she said, every parent wants the best for the kids. But knowing, accepting that you can't provide that, it's brave. I think about them every day. But I have to push them thoughts away. I have to bury them so I can try and get on with my life. Well, I didn't realise you felt like that. Sometimes people have to stick things in boxes in their heads, otherwise you go do lally. Yeah, I get that. I really do, but you must want to see them again one last time. It's not about what I want. Well, do it for me, then. I don't want to upset them. I, I, I don't want to make them confused. No, they're eight years old, OK? They understand more now. Just imagine what they'll think when they look back. Our mum let us go to Australia and couldn't even say goodbye. They'll think that you never cared at all. They'll remember us, won't they? Of course, yeah. I hope they're happy, you know. Just ima imagine that. Just going off to a new life. Well, that sounded like it came from the heart. What? But you should have given you up and all things might have been a lot better. <sighs> Mum, stop it. I'm not sure this is such a good idea. It's not all about you, you know. Sorry, I don't think I can do it. Look, I get that you're nervous, OK? But seriously, you have to go in there. I can't. They're literally in the next room. I totally get that it's scary, OK? But I'll be right there beside you. We can do this together. Please, let's just... Let's just go in there and let's be a family. No. No, this, this was a mistake. I shouldn't have even come. That's the old Abby talking. You're stronger than that now. Tell them I love them. Mum, Mum, please. Mum! Mum, come on, please. Hey, buddy. A song? Well, I don't know the first thing about rap music. <sighs> well, of course it matters. Look, I really think your dad's a better bet for... <laughs> Oi, what's he said? He says you're too old and think Acon's something that falls from trees. <laughs> Listen, Jack, I'm flattered, really, I am, but t it, tonight it ain't great for me. <sighs> Seriously, if I'm your best bet... All right, all right, yep, yeah, fine, yeah, let's give it a whirl. Yeah, that lad has got you wrapped round his little finger. What can I say? I love him to bits. Oh, that's nice. It's nice to know that you love at least one kid in your life. You're unreal. Can we talk about this inside? Can someone explain to me what's going on? I didn't see Charlie and Lexi. I just, I couldn't face it. Yeah, so instead she bailed. Like the pathetic coward that she is. Oh, you watch your mouth. That's your mum you're talking about. I know that. And like my brother and sister, I regret it. Every single day. Can you just give us a minute? I'll be fine. I'm sorry. Well, it's too late for sorry. I said goodbye to the twins a long time ago. So what? You thought you'd just break their little hearts? What, for old times, sake? Eh? But if I'd seen them again, it'd just be reopening old wounds. For them or for you? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. You can't understand. No, unfortunately, I can. It's just you. It's just who you are. It's who you've always been. Look, just hear me out. No, no, no. Just, just consider this the goodbye that I should have said a long time ago. 